Libra. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is going to cover the next two weeks for you guys, May 6th to the 19th, 2019, for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. And just as a quick reminder, Libra, I'm reading for a lot of you. It's, you know, impossible for the reading to resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Definitely feel free to watch your other signs. I'm using beautiful creatures for the last couple of signs. Um, beautiful deck. Look at the purple. So if, you're, if you follow me on Facebook, you guys know I have like a lot of cards. So I'm going through all my cards one day and I came across this one. But they have two editions. Um, I have the first edition. I think they just came out with a second edition, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but um, I love it. I'm like, Instagram is loving it. So I hope you guys like it too. Leave your comments. Definitely let me know. Libra, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Facebook Live every Wednesday for your weekly general reading. I'd love for you guys to follow me there. Just bear with me with these cards because they're hot. They're... I mean, they are, they're, they're absolutely stunning. I totally love them, but they're big... And they're very light cardboard. So they tend to... And I haven't used them that much. Like I said, I just came across them. Like a couple days ago. when you put them down. Okay, I'm sorry. This is going to be your overall energy. Okay, the bottom of the deck. Eight of Cups. Quest. At the bottom. Look at all those butterflies. Symbol of change, transformation. This is you moving forward, really looking to the future, leaving the past behind, moving forward in some way, moving on emotionally. And I think it's something that you're very passionate about. Let me move these down so you guys could see these cards. Sorry. It says bravery at the bottom. You're ready. It's you standing up and fighting for what it is that you want. You're not compromising. You're not backing down. You're standing your ground with what it is that you want.
you know, for some of you, you have been brave and strong and you will persevere. But I, I, I get this very strong sense that there is something that some of you want very, very, very much. And you're moving right toward it with the Eight of Cups. And you're feeling very happy and being emotionally very content. The Ten of Cups says content on the bottom. I'm sorry. Look at all the flowers. Look at that emotional abundance. Flowers. Fruit, abundance, fruitful, fruitful, happy. It says contentment. Sorry, I thought it said content. Same thing. And really, this is straight up celebration. It says it right on the card with the Three of Cups. This is something to celebrate. There is something to really celebrate here. Three of Cups sitting right next to this. Three of Cups for some of you, definitely, definitely getting out and about, socializing, spending more time with your friends, your family. I'll tell you what, there's a lot to be said about this reading. Like, for real. Um... Got to keep it in a timely fashion, though. But whatever it is, there's something that there's something new and exciting coming in, and it is making you very happy. And it's it's a passionate, exciting. New beginning. Energy. It says at the bottom. You know, that's why I said, I mean, this card does mean all of that. You know, standing your ground, fighting. For, when I look at both of these cards, though, energy, bravery, it's like some kind of passionate, exciting new beginning. You know, I feel like it's like a spark of inspiration of some, you know, of some kind, some sort of creative idea that you have. Something that maybe you're even putting out there. You have the Six of Wands. Definitely something you could be putting out into the public. It's something that you're starting that's very exciting. And you do want to share it and celebrate it with your friends and family. With the Three of Cups, you know, for others of you, the Seven of Pentacles. It says progress at the bottom of this card. So, you worked hard. You put a lot of time, energy, and effort into something. Look at this here. I hope the camera really picks this up. See this clock? Time. You're waiting. You're being patient. But yet still standing firm, standing strong, standing passionate with what it is that 
you're going after. Whatever it is that you want. And you're making progress. You're reaping the rewards. And I, I mean, you, de you definitely invested time, energy, and effort into something. And you're literally just waiting. Waiting to start this new beginning. Waiting to start this abundance, happiness. Waiting on a decision in regards to this new beginning. It could be a new idea, you know, that you've had. It could be a new job. There is some kind of new beginning that's coming into your life. With the Two of Wands here and the Seven of Pentacles, you most definitely could be waiting on a decision. I mean, it, this, it says clearly on this card, decisions. You know. We're definitely waiting on a decision that allows for this progress. Things to fully manifest. That's really what I'm getting. I mean, it's spelled out for us, for you, you know, you're waiting, you're being patient. You're, you're waiting for the energy to shift. It says energy on the Ace of Wands. But you're protected. Black is a lot of protection. A lot of protection energy surrounding you. But you are very focused on the future with the Two of Wands as well. And the Eight of Cups. You're very focused on the future. And I do see you being very passionate. You know, the, the, there is a lot of fiery, passionate energy in this whole reading. You know, with the Five of Pentacles, it says poverty. It is feeling a lack financially. It's also, you know, feeling down and out. Losing faith with something because you've been waiting to be able to start this new path. Waiting on a decision. I am sensing, really, for some of you, this is a relationship situation. I feel like some of you, you could have met someone, really had that instant spark with them. That, you know, that instant attraction. It's almost, and now it's like it's almost like you're waiting on it to go somewhere. You're 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 waiting to start this new beginning with this person. And maybe this is a person that you have invested a lot of time, energy, and, and effort into. You could have just started to you know get to know this person. I am sensing that with the Three of Cups. You do have the High Priestess here too, okay? With that being said, there could be a situation involving three people. 
I do feel like for some of you, it is very possible with the Eight of Cups. You, you were probably already in a relationship. Probably married. You know, it's possible that you met someone and, you know, you had that instant attraction, that instant connection with someone new. And this could be you to really be making the decision to move towards that person. Yeah, the high priestess is here. And it is... Usually a secret of energy. It, I mean, it is a secret of energy. Things that are hidden. And, you know, it does say inner wisdom on this card. And I think if that's the case, somebody or intuitively, somebody already knows. Whether it's you, them. I mean, it's definitely coming out. But you're definitely moving towards this new beginning or this new relationship. Really, with the Seven of Pentacles, you're waiting. And for some of you, you know, you could have secretly made a decision or are secretly making a decision to start something new, whether it's a relationship. And you're just keeping it to yourself. Others of you are just listening to your intuition. Others of you definitely really need, probably need to listen to your intuition. And definitely be careful if you don't get caught. But I think I think um, if you're trying to keep that a secret, it's coming up. And But this person already knows. Somebody already knows. But you do need to trust your intuition and make a decision. Or move down a new path, move towards this new beginning. But I still, I, I, you're coming through successfully. Whatever this challenge was with, or with the Five of Pentacles, you are absolutely overcoming this with the Six of Wands. You know, I can't even make this shit up. We got butterflies in both cards. And this is after you've worried, stressed over it. It's your energy. Anxiety, stress, worry, fear. The mask is off. Notice that? That's interesting. Because the high priestess is here. No more secrets. It's coming out. If you didn't you know if you don't didn't want that to happen, I'm sorry to say. But there's victory in it. You're, I see you very victor, victorious. It's very successful. For others of you, you could just be waiting on a decision from your partner, your spouse, a friend, family member. You know, this relationship in regards... 
could, I mean, it could even be a new home, new job. There, but there's definitely a decision that you're waiting on. But I absolutely see you, I see success coming your way. I see you moving forward. Just keep standing strong and brave and fighting for whatever it is that you want. And I do feel like you really are spending time with friends and family over the next two weeks. Meeting new people. Which I do think is going to be beneficial for you. If you're in a relationship and it's just no longer serving you, I feel like your intuition is telling you to move towards this new beginning with the Ace of Wands. Move toward the new person. Let's see. I can't believe I'm 21 minutes into this reading. There's a lot in this reading, though. There really is. These cards are amazing. I can't believe how long they've been sitting. I really can't. What is the Ace of Wands? So, I'm sorry, I didn't even... So, these are the After Tarot. Um, future predictions. What comes next? After the Ace of Wands. What are they? Hold on. And they're only right in the upright. Wow. All right. The Three of Wands. But I'm going to do another one because it just kind of... But, I mean, you're definitely planning for the future. You're getting ready to take off. See the bird? Whew. Gone. Let me get another one, though, because that just really kind of um, slid out. I really wasn't focused. And if um, you follow me on Facebook, um, the card's got to pop for me. Interesting. Three of Pentacles. This is definitely... Probably a three-party situation for some of you. Definitely. Well, it's old now. Probably it is. Definitely. If you have fire in your chart, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, you're the one that this person wants to build with. Start something with. Definitely. You know, they could even be coming out and telling you exactly how they feel about you. That they've been keeping to themselves or maybe you have. Great reading, though. And listen, you guys have three threes here. Okay? Three days, three weeks. Three months. The 12th. I mean, with could even be March, honestly. I know it's a, you know, but these are, keep in mind, these are future predictive cards. They definitely could go out longer. And you have two of them, so for some of you, it definitely could be March. And with this many cards... Major Arcana, definitely. But whatever it is, you're definitely progressing towards it. And it's going to be very successful. Actually, you guys have two sevens here too. How did I miss that? Which it would be July 
for some of you. And again, the seventh, seven days, seven weeks, the seventh, the sixteenth, Moonology, Oracle cards. I like to pull these when we're having a full moon, which is on May 18th, for those of you that care. And they are fabulous cards. They really are just fabulous cards. Uh, <laughs> my mouth has been going all day. I'm so sorry. A personal issue reaches resolution. That's very interesting. Full moon in Cancer. Cancer is in July. Come on, I can't make that shit up. That's, a, that's crazy. Not really, but... I mean, I just feel like it's beautiful. The worst is behind you. Sure, some of you are definitely going to have to wait and be patient when it comes to this Ace of Wands, but it's definitely coming. It's here. Really listen to your intuition. I know there's a lot of black in a lot of these cards, but I'm very drawn to the black in this card. And, and, and even this card, even though a lot of them are black, not, not everyone. But you're definitely, and sevens are a spiritual number as well. I do feel like you guys are very um, divinely and spiritually guided throughout all this. I really do. And the lovers is under there. We, are, we talked, the eight of cups was the, is the bottom of the deck, then strength, sign of Leo, and then lovers. And then King of Wands. So some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign, like I said. Ultimatum. There's just a lot here. There's, there's definitely a big decision. There's big changes. There's big transformation. You guys got a lot going on. Like I said, there's a lot to be said about this reading. Amazing. All right, guys. Those of you that follow me for Facebook Live, Thursday this week, can't do Wednesday, weekly readings, I will see you guys there. Um, those of you that don't, I will see you guys back here very soon. Love you guys. Have a beautiful two weeks, and I will see you back here soon. Take care.